Hi there, uh, so this is Deal by the Grateful Dead, pretty cool sort of a rollicking song, and uh, it's in the key of A, not too difficult, although there's a lot of changes, right? You can do a lot of stuff r r right, uh, pretty low on the neck if you want to. Uh, Let me show you what I, at least one interpretation of uh, of the song, right? So starting with an A, I'm just going to build all our chords down here. A, right? Now C sharp seven. I can do you know up here, but I can also do like here. So I don't have to move too far from the A. Uh, I'm going to put a third finger on the fourth fret of the A string, second finger on the third fret of the D string, pinky finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and first finger on uh, the second fret of the B string. And now for my F sharp minor, I'm playing basically a bar at the F sharp here, right? So a regular minor uh, shape that would be with third finger on the fourth fret of the A string and pinky finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Now since that D string uh, happens to have my F sharp in it, and I can easily lift that finger up to, make, to add the E, so that is same chord uh, over the top of the E. You could play it like so also. So that's the same, that's the antenna, area. it's F sharp minor, and then F sharp minor over an E, then D7, and then your uh, D sharp diminished 7, you can play a couple of different ways. So, uh, so there's a C, D, there's my D sharp, right? Diminished 7 would be like so. And I can also play that uh, down here, since it's, uh, it's one of those, <laughs> one of those kind of chords, you can play that. Uh, second finger on the third fret of your A string, you can play that. The um, third finger on the fourth fret of your D string, first finger on the second fret of your G string, and pinky finger on the fourth fret of your B string. D sharp diminished seven. Uh, uh, and then we have uh, A again, G and D, A, G, uh, G and D. And the A, here the A is a good opportunity for us to just rock back and forth between the 1 and 5, 1 and 6, and 1 and flat 7 if we want to. And that's, for, in this uh, idea anyway, it sounds like this. Now a little bit of that goes a long way, so I wouldn't spend too much time. Really, it's such a, it's a, it's a trope, right? It's, so it's been heard for years and years, so it's not a bad thing to include that kind of thing. I think it makes people comfortable. But if you were going to make your whole statement about that, you know, one five, one six, one flat seven, you wouldn't be really doing service to the song as much as you could. So uh, just to, you know, word to the wise, less is more, as they say, right? Uh, so uh, A again, C sharp seven, F sharp minor over E, D seven and D sharp diminished seven. Uh, and then to the A. Essentially what you have is a chromatic drop that goes, you know, it's just by half step. So uh, you could go uh, A7, G sharp 7, G7, F sharp 7. All I'm doing is making that F shape at the top four string. And then you're pushing a perfect uh, line to do your B7 here. Picking up the B from the fifth string uh, in, in a regular... Uh, uh, dominant seven uh, uh, 
bar chord shape right here. And then back to the D. So the cool thing, for me anyway, about this song, the way that the, uh, the, way that the B7 goes to the D is very much like, you know, I hear that kind of motion movement uh, in a lot of Jerry Garcia stuff and Dead stuff. Uh, but I just think it's, it's really pretty and kind of significant. So back to the A. about it uh, for today have a look at that the the chords are they're fun and they're because of the, the um, if you play them in some places that you're not used to uh, you can get some interesting voicing out of that and I think it, it makes it more fun to play and also more fun to listen to so have some fun with the uh, deal by the Grateful Dead <laughs>